Good morning. Bon dia. Um, to everyone. I feel that, um, well, first of all, my name is Ian Martin. I'm from uh, Glendon College uh, at York University, which is a bilingual English and French uh, post-secondary institution in uh, Toronto. I've been with the project for, uh, I guess, three years. And I feel that, um, looking around the tables here, I feel very much a familial feeling among us all because um, we have learned so much as a result of this project that it's difficult to find words to express uh, how, how deeply that's um, influenced us in all of our work, even if it's not particularly in English language teaching. Um, I'm um, coordinator of a very interesting um, project called the D Certificate in the Discipline of Teaching English as an International Language. The department that I'm a member of, the English Department of Glendon, is um, trying to be, in its way, a cutting edge department with English in the world and the world in English. And the way that uh, Brian and I give, um, give uh, practice to that is that we have a project uh, at the moment um, almost exclusively in Cuba. Uh, Brian and I have just come back from Cuba where we uh, take pre-service pre, um, pre uh, undergraduates enrolled in the certificate program and give them an international practicum mm -hmm. with a univer cooperating university in Havana, Cuba. Um, but we were very fortunate this year that one of our students was um, accepted and has apparently done a very good job uh, being at the vanguard of um, our exchange with uh, university, the State University of Mato Grosso do Sul. And uh, in fact, I think we would probably say that the greatest advantage of the Brazil-Canada knowledge exchange and its um, partnership development is its partnership development dimension because we have taken very seriously the idea that beyond this project there should be partnership development and we're very proud to have developed a, uh, an ongoing exchange, and a very productive one, with the State University of Mato Grosso do Sul. Um, we've also just uh, completed, I guess, the first of perhaps many um, telecollaboration um, projects with the Federal University of Alagoas, as Danielle mentioned. It also includes uh, students, uh, like our students, who are teachers-to-be in the Campo Grande, in the uh, State University of uh, Mato Grosso do Sul. Um, my interest uh, at the moment, I think there was a page that I sent in to Andrea, and one of the interests that I particularly have is in indigenous language uh, development, uh, translation, and um, the future of indigenous languages in the two, um, the two continents of our hemisphere. Rather than using the word global, I use the word hemispheric. It's enough for me to encompass the entire um, Western world. And the, um, uh, I'm just going to say one more thing, and that is that uh, in my capacity as guest editor of an electronic journal that is uh, produced at Glendon College called Tusayi, um, produced under the aegis of a um, program in translation studies, I'm going to be guest editor next year, 2015, when I have a sabbatical year, by the way. Um, and it's going to be focused on uh, indigenous language translations to and from uh, the various uh, European origin languages and any and all indigenous languages in the Americas. And I invite anyone interested in translation or and um, uh, indigenous languages to contact me this week and we can set up a, a chat to see whether you could uh, contribute to that, that journal next year. 